During the winter, we talk about wind chill. It's when the cold temperatures feel even worse because of the wind. But what are we talking about here? Well, we can feel temperatures because of the difference between our skin and the air around us. Think of it like a heat bubble. This heat that your body is producing envelops your body, but once the wind kicks in, it starts getting scoured away. That heat will be leaving you from all directions, and the wind makes it happen even faster. So when that heat bubble is gone, your body's working even harder to try to keep that same temperature. It makes you feel like it's colder outside than it actually is. But how do we know what that temperature would be? Well, we use a chart. There's nothing that we can actually use to precisely measure the wind chill. Instead, we uh, find an example. Like, let's say it's 10 degrees out, but with a 20 mile per hour wind, that will add up to a wind chill of nine below. That's what it'll feel like. We use this chart to help us do the forecast. But it's just for people. It's what we feel. A car, for example, well, a car has a heat. It is coming off the engine. But no matter how strong that wind is, the wind will never be able to bring the car down to a temperature lower than the actual reading outside. The car cannot feel that wind chill while we can. And it's why it's so important to make sure we're bundled up so you can protect that heat layer when you're outside.